Okay, so go into a forward fold so that it feels like you're stretching your hamstrings. So whatever you need to do to feel like you're stretching your hamstrings. So that is passive, all right? Be passive, stretch your hamstrings. That's a stretch, that's a mechanical stretch. Now, we'll make it an isometric, so there's no movement, eccentric, so the muscle's in its length and position, contraction, so that means the muscle's working, okay? Dig in your heels and then drag your heels towards your butt. You might have to bend your knees just a little bit for that to happen. And now lift your, your torso just a little bit. So now you're, see, muscles eccentrically contracted. It still sort of feels like a stretching sensation mm -hmm. because the muscle's in a long position, but it's active. But why do we stretch? What do we think we're doing when we're stretching? What, what's the purpose or the, what's the end point? So I guess the, the benefit of having stretched out hamstrings is that we can flex our hips. Is that right? But we know that if we go like this, the hamstrings are barely stretching at all, but we can flex our hips, right? So why is it preferable to flex your hips with your knees straight? Well, I'm just asking you to rethink, like, right? Because we think that stretching is good, tight muscles are bad. Love that you brought that up, that it's, you know, it feels like the muscle's trying to shorten when you're trying to lengthen. And that's what's going on. And if you, you get in that tug of war with the muscle, who do you think's gonna win? <laughs> Your nervous system is gonna win. Your nervous system always wins. <laughs> that muscle, that's again, see? Piriformis is, gets super irritated, you know? And so what you need to do is let it contract. Contract, contract it hard. And wake up, because you're contracting it hard, all its synergists are going, oh, oh, okay, okay, we'll get on board. How do you contract your piriformis? Uh, pigeon is a good way. But also the standing balances we did this morning. We're waking up your lateral hip rotators. Um, well, it, it here, you would be, you would have to, you know, press this leg into this leg. Yeah. But also the bridge poses and, and all of that are good for getting those the synergists of, you know, hip, hip extension and the lateral rotation at the hip.